The Quarantine Student Youth Network uh, came together as an initiative uh, led exclusively by students and youth from various parts of uh, Bengal to stand by people in need and there the migrant workers were pleading to the audience uh, to help them. For the 700 people we arranged the ration through a fundraiser on Facebook. Till now, till date, we have been able to provide ration to around 10,000 families. My name is Devojit Kumar Thakur and I am a final year PhD student at the Department of Modern and Contemporary History at the University of Trier in Germany. For the last eight months I have been living in Delhi for my research and dissertation. Some videos of migrant workers uh, came on my timeline and there the migrant workers were pleading to the audience uh, to help them uh, with whatever they can. Uh, they had a problem with food, they could not live like normal human beings with dignity. So I reached out to them and I learned that their condition is beyond words. When I learned the situation of these migrant workers uh, in Shapujat, uh, in Delhi and Hajrani, uh, most of them were embroidery workers. So uh, on the first two days I tried to arrange some cooked meals for them uh, through various channels and it was clear that this was not a sustainable way of doing things. Uh, so we sat together uh, and they told me that uh, it would be best if we could arrange ration for them, rice, potatoes, onion, oil, uh, pulses. For the 700 people we arranged the ration through a fundraiser on Facebook, I appealed to the audience on Facebook, my friend list and others, that this is a condition in Delhi and if you guys can help. And slowly and steadily we were able to stand by at least 8,700 migrant workers, but not only them, we could reach out to Rohingya refugees, HIV positive patients sex workers and basically people from marginalized and vulnerable uh, communities. The Quarantine Student Youth Network uh, came together as an initiative uh, led exclusively by students and youth from various parts of uh, Bengal to stand by people in need uh, with uh, whatever little resources that we could manage. We already had the information that uh, a super cyclone was going to make a landfall in Bengal and we have been tracking that uh, for the last 48 hours before it made the landfall. Thanks to the support and contribution of friends, family, acquaintances and strangers, till now, till date, we have been able to provide ration to around 10,000 families, tarpaulin to around 5,700 families and through 13 people's kitchens throughout the affected areas in South Bengal, we have been able to cater uh, cooked meals to around 35,000 people.